Okay, in this example, I'm going to demonstrate a few of the mapping behaviors and the indexing behaviors that you can tweak within Elasticsearch. We have a data field that exists on both the registration object and the user object. You can add additional fields off this data field, and they can be of any type that you want. However, by default, Elasticsearch will guess a type based on how it's imported. So if I add this user here, I'm adding a data field. I've never added this field before. I'm calling it number 42. It could be anything number wise. And some user one, if I click on import, that user now exists. If I do my query within my local instance of FusionAuth here, you can see in my elastic query, I'm just querying the data on the user object, this new field I made, everything in it, returns my sum user one. And if I click on the user, I can go over to source and I can see making a field has 42. Furthermore, I can go over to my elastic mapping. So I'm calling the index and the mapping using my elastic APIs and making a field what i just created is a type long and so where you'll run into issue is if i then say well i don't want it to be 42 in this field i want it to be um bluebird something right and i want user 2 to have bluebird in making a field field um, elastic will fail and it'll say i can't do that more specifically elastic will fail and present an event log here, and it will say, put, um, making a field type long uh, is not allowed. It's, it's, it will say, let's see, uh, mapper parsing exception. And our documentation covers this a little bit as well, but essentially because the mapping was long and I imported a user, with a text field and then give it 43 or 1020 or whatever. Elastic said, well, I already inferred that this field would be a long type and now you want it to be text, I can't do that. And I won't let you import into FusionAuth as a result. And so, um, let's close this here. The option then is to close the index And then we will change this setting here to true. And if you're in FusionAuth Cloud, we'd have to do this on your behalf. And then we open the index back up. And this setting that we changed says, if the typing is malformed, if we're seeing this behavior here, then just ignore it. And so, as you would expect, once we adjust this, close the index, adjust it, open it again. Now, if I have a user 3, whereas user 2 couldn't even be imported, so we could try user 2 again if we want, but now user 3, they should be able to import Bluebird. And it returns OK. However, the caveat to all this is... If I search here, I only get one user, but I just imported user three. In fact, I can prove that user three exists. And how I can do that is do email, and I can say, give me user three, and click search. There's some user three, and not only that, some user three has Bluebird on the field. So what the heck's going on? What's going on is that when you set a setting such as ignore malformed, Elasticsearch will not throw an error like it's doing, but it will not add the value that you imported, in this case Bluebird, to this field's index. It will index on all other fields such as email. You saw that over here where I was able to find some user three, but I was not able to um, search um, by the making a field. And so, and even then, like if we did this, data dot, 
um, making a field. If we do all of it again, we just get the one, not the two. Whereas if I have the correct value, just to prove the final point here, maybe this was 44 or 33 or whatever, some user four when they're, again, this type is along. So when I put in the correct parameter, even with the option selected to say ignore malforming, if I hit send, this user will be imported. And as you expect, their value will be added to the index. Um, so, um, and you know, I can even do this, right? Or 33. And I just get the one. But if I do bluebird, nothing. And well, if we do an email, some user three and three, I think they were bluebird. So you can just see here what, what the problem is, is that this will not cause you to fail at runtime or at production level, but it will not cause your specific index to be updated on the user.data.field that you're creating. Everything else will be indexed, just bad malformed data will not be added to that index.